Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome, my Pisces friends and friends of Pisces. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So Pisces, uh, I'm looking at your energy here in meditation. There are some channeled messages. We'll go over oracle cards and then into the tarot, as we do. Um, good to see you guys again. Thank you so much for your patience. I know it's been a minute since we've had a reading for you. I am restructuring some things. So looking here, Pisces, at your energy, kind of an interesting message. Um, I mean, ultimately, it's it seems that there is a lot of change that is uh, going on in your life, coming forward for you in life. And you're at a point right now in the process where it doesn't really look like creation, even though it is because there are steps to creation, the first being destruction. So um, let's get into it. Your channel messages in meditation, what came through first was um, friendship, actually the word friendship, and I didn't really get much else surrounding that. So I feel like the reason that's coming through is a request for support based on everything else that came through for you guys. Like I said, there's some massive change that's happening and kind of in the in the place of destruction right now before creation is, is beginning, uh, before you see that. So there may be some additional support that is required or needed right now, and that's why friendship came through. The next thing that came through was um, a Pope hat. And I know the Pope wears several different hats, the, the tall one. So um, I believe it's called a miter, meter? I don't remember how that's pronounced. Anyway, um, it was representatory of a lot of things, um, but the two that stood out were authority and dignity. And I found it interesting as well, looking at the description of the hat, because it talks about, they say it's like a bicuspid hat because it, it splits into two and it's like open in the center and it's got two tails on the back. All those have names, but one of the descriptions described it as these two openings as like, um, like the mouth of a fish. And hey, we're here with, with Pisces, aren't we? So... I feel like we're talking about um, your authority, like your ability to command what needs to happen here as far as what is being created. Um, and with dignity coming through, I feel like this is a reminder to keep your head high, to keep your head up. Um, as whatever is going on is going on is not the end. And um, your dignity and your authority is what will get you through this process, okay? Remember who you are, Pisces. Simba, remember. Um, bliss was something else that came through next. Uh, I do feel like this is a request to focus on those things that do bring you bliss. But it's also a reminder that bliss is not the end goal, was something that came through as well. It's not the ultimate destination. Um, just like happy is not a destination. Happiness is an effect of doing the things that um, allow us to feel happy, right? And it's not a permanent state of being either. If we were always in any state, it would start to become, um, we would become numb to that feeling. So. Uh, this is a reminder to to lean into the things that do bring you bliss when you need, but not to focus so much on them. There's work to be done, is what I'm hearing. Um, next, I was seen, or I was shown, excuse me, it was this kind of triangle shape. I don't feel like the shape was as important, but there was a reflection in the water, and it was very choppy. It did not look like the original shape at all because of all these ripples. And I was reminded of that idea, like, uh, the water must be calm in order to see the reflection clearly. So right now, I don't I don't feel as much that you guys are causing the ripples. This may be where a support system is needed to lean on right now. Uh, but there's, there is just a, a reminder here that ripples are going on. So what you're seeing as a reflection in your subconscious and your emotional realm may not be the correct or um, accurate original picture. So to just remember that, okay? I do feel like um, grounding, um, working to calm those ripples is really important right now so that you can see clearly. Okay. All right. So Pisces, let's go ahead and get into your Oracle cards. So <clears throat> I was told to pull two here in the archetype Oracle deck, the destroyer and the siren are what came out for you guys. So this is where I'm starting to see that, um, uh, some major changes are happening. The destroyer, this is an energy of, um, well, destruction. So when the destroyer comes through, things are changing. There's nothing that you can really do about this except for 
address the way that you are responding to this energy coming through. Um, kind of kind of similar to tower energy here, I feel like, with the destroyer. Um, but basically, what comes through on this is a reminder that with destruction, uh, or creation, excuse me, creation starts with destruction. And that was a quote by Picasso, I believe. Um... So to remember that, okay, if things are looking like destruction right now, remember that that's the first step to creation. To not let yourself get too lost in the destruction component. Something needs to be demolished. You know, there's an old building on land that you purchase and you want to build something new. That building needs to come down first. So destruction starts and then creation comes after. With the siren coming through, this is like... Um, Something that you are hearing the call to pursue, um, whether this is good or bad, like whether the direction you're being called to is good or bad is less important. This is about the call. With the destroyer together, what it makes me think of is um, you may be like this is this is your ego is kind of what I'm getting. Destruction's happening. Creation's about to begin, and there is this call. Like those ripples on the water are kind of what this call is reminding me of. This call is your ego. Remember, you know, how safe we felt or how, how much better it was that we're not making this change? You know, let's go back to that place where things weren't so hard. When in reality, maybe they were actually hard. This is just the devil you know versus the devil that you don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and get into your tarot messages and get a little bit further into this. I feel like... You guys are at a crossroads, okay? Um, and you're being directed. I don't even want to say forced, but this like this is the path you need to take. But there's this call from your ego saying, well, no, let's continue to do this when you can't. There's, It's just literally not possible for you to continue to follow that path. And because of that, if you continue to try to go to that path, you're going to have a bad time, right? Um, so there's a need to surrender to this process of destruction right now so that something new can be born. Okay. Pisces, I love you. Oh, three of cups stands out here. So back to friendship, actually, this just fell out. I do feel like it's really important to get a hold of your friend group, your support group. Make sure that you are tapped into your support group right now. Make it a little bit easier for you, okay? Maybe that's your bliss, finding reasons to celebrate you and those that you love rather than focusing on how difficult this destruction is. Okay, so this is the Phantasma deck we're gonna start with. Spirit, what do we have for Pisces? Pisces, Pisces. And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys, hello. Thank you for your love and support, as always. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description of this video and also a join button next to the subscribe underneath this video. Hit that subscribe if you haven't yet. I appreciate it. I do have Personal readings open and available currently. If you want to check that out, I do have a link in the description of the video to my website. So eight of wands here in the bottom. This is um, hopes, hopes and dreams to start off with. Eight of wands, this is good news. This is positive stuff. Forward movement, a quick, quick movement as well. As far as a hope, I feel like you guys are in a bit of discomfort right now looking at the rest of the message here, and you're wanting, needing, hoping to uh, very quickly get out of that discomfort and that pressure, which is why I feel it's so important right now to ground, okay? To focus on being in your body, being in the present moment. The quicker that you can make that happen for yourself, the quicker that this discomfort is able to be diffused as well. I feel like Holding on to it is not, you're going to have a bad time. It's not the way to do it. Do it. There's a need to release that pressure, okay? All right, so let's do the Untamed Tarot here for your second deck. Spirit, what do we have here for Pisces? And this is a general message, you guys. Please keep that in mind. You guys are extremely intelligent, intuitive. Use your head, heart, and intuition, please, to decipher which messages are for you. Leave the rest behind. Um, feel free to check out your rising moon, Venus, any other major placements in your chart for additional messages on what's going on for you. We do have every sign in our chart, so don't forget that. 
Just depends on where you have it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, the fool. <laughs> so this is your fear aversion, anxiety. Having the fool come in, don't mind my exploding elbow. <laughs> Uh, the fool here is us as an archetype, but it's a new journey. It's needing to have faith, taking a leap of faith, having courage, a request to not be the fool. So being in your anxiety here, I feel like the fear is to start something new. There is something ending. There is a destruction that's going on right now. And the fear is what comes next? Well, what's after, what's after all of this? You know what I'm saying? Um, that can be that can be frightening when we don't know. I think there's also a fear, like I said, of playing the fool because you don't know what's coming forward. Maybe this is a situation where you feel like you're a fool. There's an ending of a relationship or job, something where you may be taking it a bit more um, personally than you deserve to. Not that whatever happens in your life isn't personal to you, but... Um, there's a request to let this flow a bit more and you may be hanging on to whatever needs to be shed from the past and that's causing more distress to you, more concern over feeling like a fool. Maybe there is an identity, maybe you have created an identity surrounding whatever is being destroyed right now. And so you feel like a fool. The thing with that is um, we're going to get through that, okay? Was it a Buddhist, a Buddhist belief? Anything that we start attaching ourselves to um, will eventually call, cause pain. So I feel like this is a good lesson right now to allow things to flow. Enjoy things while they're there and know that when they leave, um, you're going to be okay. All right? All right, let's get into your tarot messages here. <laughs> so the hermit to start, general messages. The hermit, this is, um, this is solitude. This can be being alone. So I do feel like for some of you, maybe there is a relationship ending, um, job ending, or this, this can symbolize something that's happened in the past as well, or this may be coming forward for some of you. But the hermit is, um, is about finding the answer, that light, that guiding light inside, inside of you, Pisces. So I feel like the reminder here, this is your authority, okay, with that Pope hat that was coming through. This is your uh, time to tap into your inner authority and to remember that you are dignified, to remember your dignity. Okay? And I feel like this is something that might be a little bit difficult right now. Like maybe you're already feeling isolated. I'm seeing kind of this cloud around the, the peahen's head here. Feeling a bit lost in your own dimension here. Okay, let's keep going. So 10 of wands next. Yep. 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 10 of wands here. This is you've come to the end of a journey, you guys. So we've had the fool, um, the destroyer, there's things ending and there are things beginning. The 10 of wands requests that we release something from our previous journey or many things because we are starting a new journey. And in order to start that new journey, or at least to pick up things like experience, memories, maybe more tchotchkes, I don't know, we need to release something from the journey previous so that we have space to take things with us, to take new things with us. And I do feel like um, that cloud is what's really standing out to me right now. Whatever that cloud is representing, whatever this dust being kicked up in your mind is ruminating, spinning on um, fear over what may be currently happening, what has already happened, what's coming next, is preventing you from releasing what needs to be released here. That rabbit is kind of tied up in all of these vines. So they're trying to get out of there, they're moving, but um, there's something that's preventing you from fully releasing that. And I feel like it's clarity of mind back to those ripples on, on the water. Um, yeah, totally. Thank you, spirit. So until you can see what that shape is, then you don't know what move it is that you need to make to get through these vines. You're seeing one exit in a certain shape. And in reality, that's not the shape that it is. So you keep running into a wall instead of being able to get through that exit. Okay, let's keep going here. Good stuff for you guys in this period. 
You have nine of cups. Hey, <laughs> I love to see that to start. So nine of cups here. This is, um, I love that there's like a, the heron or the crane on here. Uh, good luck. Nine of cups is a wish fulfilled. Wish made to the universe, wish granted. Um, your personal satisfaction. I do feel like there is success, you guys. It, like, how do I describe that? It doesn't feel like success right now. Like I said, this is the part where destruction is happening before creation can begin. And you may not see this is the creation beginning. This is your wish fulfilled. It's coming regardless of if you make a change or not. The request right now, as far as like what's going on in your mind or clearing things up, the request to do that is to help lower your stress level. This destruction will end and the creation will begin. It's going to be a lot easier for your nervous system and for what is coming, your creation, to um, get into a place of a little bit more flow and less restriction towards what is being destroyed, okay? Seven of Pentacles comes in next. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Seven of Pentacles, this is, um, there is a need for patience, you guys. The seeds have already been planted here. The crop is coming. There is a need to be patient. The root system is growing right now. It will break soil soon if you don't see it right now. There is a reminder here not to focus on loss um, and to hone one's skills. I feel like being here in your good stuff right now, the opportunity is to hone your skills as far as like stress management, to um, find a way to be present and be okay with being in the present moment, even if it's uncomfortable. Knowing that everything has its cycle, right? Knowing that if it's down, it will come back up. If it's up, it's going to go down at some point. Finding some more flexibility to dance that dance. Um, that is the skill that is being honed here in, in the, the good stuff. But I do feel... Mm, I kind of think of like a pine cone with destruction and creation, how like a forest fire needs to happen or fire intense heat needs to happen in order for those pine cones to um, burst open and to grow a new tree. That's kind of what I see you guys are doing right now. And whatever is coming is being grown is substantial. It's It has the ability to withstand the test of time until there is another forest fire and it's time to grow again. But like a wish granted, you guys, I feel I feel really good about that. Okay, let's keep moving forward here. What's in the dark, what you don't see coming? Mm. You have the djinn. So the djinn is, <clears throat> is the devil. It's a genie. Um, being here in the shadow, this is kind of, this is the, I was just saying that, the devil you know versus the devil you don't know. I feel like this is signifying that entire process. What you don't see is maybe that siren call, that ego, is telling you, no, stay here, it's more comfortable. Um, the devil represents anything that chains us to this physical realm. Addictions, um, toxic relationships, any unhealthy behavior. The shadow itself is not necessarily a bad realm. But when it creates unhealthy behaviors or leaves us feeling drained or miserable, then it's not necessarily the best, right? Or maybe what we want to be pursuing. So being in what you don't see coming is this is this is coming up for you to face. There is a decision that's going to need to be made. Like I said, you're you're taking this path. You cannot go down this path. But if you continue to pine for this path while you're on this path, you're missing everything. That is the weight that needs to be released here with the Ten of Wands, that other path. If you need to mourn that, that's okay, right? We do grieve constantly when we release things in our life. Um, it only hangs on when we don't allow it to, to come through, right? Right. So Eight of Cups comes through here next to clarify the gin. <laughs> This is leaving something behind, walking away from something or not walking away from something when you need to, um, feeling like something is missing. So being in the dark here, I feel like you guys are 
feeling like something's maybe this is why it's difficult to release that path it feels like something's missing before you've even given it up and so that kind of sinks its hooks in a little bit deeper there is uh courage and faith that comes with this too there's a request to step away from it let it let it be let it be let it be <laughs> um Whatever it is that you are leaving behind will be given back. This isn't an ultimate goodbye, okay? Okay, so let's look at your challenge here in this period, your obstacle. Nine of Wands. That makes sense. Nine of Wands is about um, resiliency. It's the Wounded Warrior. I do feel that one of the difficulties for you guys right now is your energy towards trying new things to find success. Because whatever this destruction is that's happening is leaving you feeling not the best. And because of that, it makes it difficult to continue to make attempts to try something new. We get exhausted, right? I do feel it's important to walk slowly if you need to, there is no rush on this, but don't stop, okay? Walk and cry. <laughs> it's okay to walk and cry. And the tower, yep, okay. There it is. <laughs> there she blows. So this is the other card in your um, obstacle here. <clears throat> I was just saying that with the destroyer, this gives me kind of tower vibes. The tower's coming down. This is the challenge right now is letting it fall or feeling like you have control over whether or not it's going to fall. We don't. We have control over whether we're going to tuck and roll <laughs> out of the tower or if we're going to uh, just fall on our face and what we're going to do after that. But we don't control the tower coming down. Because this process, whatever's ending here, um, is taking so much energy from you, like taking the wind out of your sails is kind of how I feel. There is a difficulty in continuing to move forward. That uh, they've got one wand here in their mouth. The Ace of Wands symbolizes a new journey, starting, starting a new journey. And you have the Ten of Wands here too. So I feel like not only protecting or continuing to develop and protect what it is that you're building, you, your life, but also having the courage to stand back up and start a new journey. Because whatever this is that is being destroyed or, or is lost or was lost was great. This was something that you didn't want to lose. Um, and how often do we really want to lose something, right? It is, uh, it is unfortunately a part of life. The tower, it is a part of life. They are all a part of life. I do feel like there is, especially with the Nine of Cups, whatever is coming in to replace this, it does require you to get back into a state of grace. I'm hearing for yourself. There may be blame or shame happening um, that is getting in the way of a positive outcome for you guys. I feel like that positive outcome is coming no matter what, but the sooner that you guys clear the ripples on the lake here, the quicker that that comes in, the less suffering that you have to go through, okay? So let's pull an animal spirit oracle here. This is Wild Unknown for Pisces. And we'll close this out. <laughs> I, I knew it too. I knew it too. Octopus here at the bottom. Um, fish is what fell out. My little fishy friends. That's you guys. So octopus, um, I do feel like there is a message or a reminder to... Be careful about how much you are allowing other people to get entrenched in your life or how much you are forcing your own life on other people as well. It can symbolize trauma dumping. Um, it's a reminder that like if you're around people, either you're this person or you're around other people, your friends did come up, friendship. If um, you're noticing you're more drained after hanging out with somebody or other people may be avoiding you right now, that's a good indication that octopus energy is at play and the request is just to um address that okay if you are trauma dumping if you're finding your trauma dumping feel free to find help okay you do deserve help 
And if you're noticing that some of your friends maybe are doing that, I think it's more than okay and actually maybe important, especially if you are friends with somebody, to let them know <laughs> in the kind, loving way, okay? That's a healthy boundary. And you're going through a lot right now. So healthy boundaries are really important. So the fish, um, this is, and I do actually want to open this up here in the book. There's a solution portion I want from here. I'll just read it real quick since we're here. Fish, restlessness, change of focus, lost in current. Hey, <laughs> the fish loves to be subsumed in life's current. Nothing pleases it more than movement, movement and more movement. The roaming lifestyle of the fish may be exhilarating for a while, but usually leads to weariness and slippery relationships. With all the possibilities out there in the vast waters, the fish becomes lost without clear goals and intentions. Spend some time with the lunar forces, dear fish, as the place, as the peace and calm of the moon will soothe your soul. So in balance, adaptable travels well when out of balance, distracted and changes mind often to bring into balance, set a small goal and accomplish it. So I feel like in this period, you guys, as there is major change happening for you, it is important to set little milestones, set little goals for yourself daily, weekly, monthly, so that you can start to um, build this confidence in yourself again, to trust yourself, to trust those around you as well, and to help keep you from feeling subsumed from feeling lost in what's going on right now. Because the intention of it is to bring clarity, is to bring you direction, not to make you feel more lost, okay? All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. I am gonna move into the extended. If you're interested in joining me, there are links in the description of the video here. Again, I do have personal readings available. And please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of the channel here, and I truly appreciate it. I do have my PayPal and Cash App links in the description also if you feel called to tip or donate. I truly appreciate it, you guys. It does support the channel more than you know, okay? Uh, in, the, in the extended as well, we are going over direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you guys based on your thoughts and your emotions, okay? I love you. I love you, Pisces. I will see you guys very soon. Please take care of yourself. Be well.